maisha ambayo mnaona Steve anaishi sasa hivi mnaweza linganisha na maisha ya nyuma kweli unaelewa hizo ni pesa zangu mimi wasei i'm the one of wa hiyo song unaelewa mimi ndio nimetafutia collab na Antoshi Gazi ni msanii mkubwa uh, dunia mzima by the way umesikia nikikwambia kuna watu ambao wako Kenya wako kwenye DM ya Zuchu okay. Karajin one of them What's up my people? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Empire Group Productions and today I'll be your host Wanji Olasa and I'm joined by our only I'm a piano artist in Kenya and that is Cartoon 47. How are you? Yeah, and Kofiti. Niambie. Sa leo tutakuja tunapiga story na Cartoon. Tunataka tujue vile anaendelea projects anataka kufanya na sasa Cartoon. Mimi I'm like sort of interested to know why why did you choose I'm a piano? Uh okay, uh for me Nasamanga music is all about creativity. Na shinanga ngiambia wasanii wetu naelewa. And uh my piano ni sound of Africa. Unaelewa na represent Africa and um nimeona wasanii kadhaa wakifanya na nimeona Kenya imewafanyia kwenye countries zao. So nilifanya research nikaona like Kenya hatuna msanii ambaye ana to represent kwa mapiano unaelewa. So nikaamua kufanya nini? Ku come up na mapiano. I've seen uh, Banana Boy, I've seen Chris Brown pia kwenye map piano nimeona wasanii kadhalika kwenye mapiano ninafanya poa so research yangu ikanionyesha kwamba tuna mashabiki wa mapiano Kenya tuna madj ambao wanapenda kucheza mapiano ila tuna wasanii wa mapiano so mimi nikaamua kufanya nini kukuwa unique na kukama hapo na kitu ambacho watu wengi wa comedy discover yeah sawa so, lakini cartoon turudi nyuma kidogo i want to know your background what really made you know that you, you can be an, a mapiano artist ama sort of you know an artist in general where did you grow up Ah uh, mimi nimezaliwa Kakamega kitu ambacho watu wengi waelewi maana yake muda mwingi sana wanachanganyikiwa na Kiswahili changu Kiswahili ni ile muda let me say ile kazi ambayo nimeweza kufanya na watu ambao nimeweza kukutana nao so uh, mimi nimezaliwa Western Kakamega nime grow na Nairobi uh, ghetto kama zote meishi unaelewa so um from ghetto uh, let me say nime, nime kuwa madhare kuare kuna watu wanajua kuare nikakuja area 1 nikakuja area 2 kufika huruma nikakuja madhare mashumoni so uh, muziki wangu ilipopik ndio say at least niko somewhere wana get yeah but before that you were a dancer right yeah true how comes you stopped dancing and you you know ventured into doing music and that is ama piano i say kutumiwa yani mimi nikiwa dancer nimetumiwa sana na mimi nime dance ya wasanii ambao hata nikikutajia sijui kama utaamini mimi nimekuwa dancer nime dance ya Willy Paul huyo mnamuona mmoja nimekuwa personal dancer wa Guardian Angel nikakuwa leader wa group yake unaelewa ila ile mambo tulikuwa nafanyiwa i say si kupenda kabisa na dream yangu ikawa lazima siku moja uh, nikuje nibadilishe na nionyeshe wasanii kwamba tunahitaji hao madansa na ni watu wa maana sana kwetu so to be precise unaweza tuambia ni either like if you know their payments were like a bit lower compared to what you're earning now ama what exactly you know influenced your career at the moment Okay acha ngwambie nikiwa dancer pesa mingi nisha make sana kwa wao wasanii ambao nimekutajia ni 250 shillings hiyo ndio pesa mingi nisha ilipwa ambapo uh, nililipwa na Garden Angel baada ya kufanya Groove Awards kufanya TSO tukafanya crossover unaelewa hizo zote nikalipwa 250 shillings imagine msanii kama Garden Angel na that time yeye alikuwa on trending unaelewa so alikuwa yeye J Farm uh, na Bahati but sasa si tulikuwa tulikuwa madansa wake na nilikuwa leader wa madansa wake na ni kitu ambacho hakikunifurahisha kabisa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lakini sasa naona you have a good style. I can see you have dreads on and clearly he's well dressed. What really influ influences your, you know, code of dressing and just how you are? Okay, ni lifestyle. Lifestyle, uh, nikisema lifestyle inamaanisha maisha ambayo nimewahi kuishi nikiwa uko chini before ni make step ama before nione mafanikio ambayo yamekuja kwenye maisha yangu uh, mimi nilikuwa uh, msee ambaye nilikuwa na kiatu moja ilikuwa inaitwa Air Max uh, na nilikuwa na jeans moja ambayo ilikuwa ya grey uh, ya kufanya show zangu zote so ile ma, madharau na matusi ambayo nilikuwa napokea kutoka kwa watu tofauti eh. ile eti eh wewe umeshinda na kiatu moja wewe umeshinda na nguo longi moja tisho moja unaelewa so nilipo uh, Nilipo fanikiwa kidogo yani let me say god alipo ni, alipo ni bless nikaona kwamba uh, 
nafaka kufanya kitu ambacho kuonyesha vijana mtaani kuna muda vitu zinabadilika unaelewa so lifestyle ambayo nimeahi kuishi huko nyuma ndio ilinifanya ama ndio inani inspire ama ndio inani influence ni kupiga look unaelewa yeah Na sasa sasa you've grown into now you, you've already actually done a music, some music with um Simple Simple Boy and now ni mwana inaendelea vizuri so what do you think really influenced you know the the viewing that the music got Uh for me kwanza umeongelea hiyo story ya Steve Woman kumbusha kitu Nimekuwa kwenye project yangu uh, ambayo imekuwa ikifanyika leo uh, Kuna kitu moja manager yake amenifanyia sijapenda unaelewa. Msiku kuja kuni attack kwanza kwenye in, ni, kwenye press yangu, mimi nafanya mambo yangu, interview zangu. Mimi sijui ametokea wapi. Amenivuruga, amenivuruga, amenivuruga mpaka mwisho aka kanipiga kofi ila mimi unajua mimi mpole kama kawaida mimi naheshimu kila mtu so nimechukulia poa tu unaelewa lakini sio kitu ambacho kimenifurahisha. Baya manager yake ni vaga hata kuna nimekuwa na watu wame witness amenivuruga for nothing but for me uh, nasema mambo yako poa and uh, nashukuru Mungu na nashukuru pia mashabiki kwa kusupport project yangu na Steve but uh, kuna kitu usikuwa na feel kizuri ama po nili try ku explain ya say i'm the one of wa hiyo song unalewa mimi ndio nimetafutia collab na Antoshi Gazi ni msanii mkubwa uh, dunia mzima unalewa amefanya collab na wasek kutoka nchi tofauti so mimi amekuwa rafiki yangu for long nikawa na baada kufanya naye kazi na Steve na jituma ni msanii wetu hapo acha nimpe hiyo opportunity pia tu muone unalewa pia ana vibe nzuri so mimi nikamuita Steve na nikaweza kuwa tukaongea nao nimekuwa nikificha hiki kitu but uh, i paid Steve a lot of money let me say uh, leo nimeweza kusema nilimpea before we record i paid Steve 400,000 na leo na akakataa kuji studio kama hajamaliziwa pesa so nika kukopa pesa mpaka saa hii nadaiwa sijaweza kulipa 200k and alikuwa anaitisha 600k ambayo tulimlipa but after kumlipa tukafanya kazi project kabisa ikaisha video nikajituma yangu na mshukuru director akafanya but uh, after ngoma kutoka Steve Ajay push ngoma Steve Ajay post mimi sasa ile ile kuonyesha mashabiki like me I'm the one of this project manze na mimi ni mkenya pia na need support yenu kama kawaida unaelewa so ime sijui ni kama ime uh, manager yake so leo nikiwa kwenye mkutano zangu mambo zangu amekuja kanivuruga Bila mimi kujua sijui ametokea wapi unaelewa. So mkuja kaongea maneno, nini mimi kujaribu kuongea nini akanipiga kofi but for me nimesema tutakuja patana bado unaelewa. Katuni unataka kusema ali, alikupiga kofi alafu haukufanya anything. I say mimi sina mwili acha niseme hivyo. Mimi sina mwili. Kijana manager Steve ni tuna height tunatoshana alafu kuna venye ame mkono wake niliona hapa nikijaribu kurusha itakuwa fresh kwenye mashabiki zangu na leo so kunipiga kofi amenipiga e, na ameongea maneno ambayo ameongea mara moja mimi sina hela wakati anajua alipokea hela kutoka kwangu na leo maisha ambayo mnaona Steve anaishi sasa hivi mnaweza linganisha na maisha ya nyuma kweli na leo hizo ni pesa zangu mimi ndio nimeinvest kwenye music yangu nikampa nimefanya kuchangia kwenye mafanikio ya Steve o uh, mimi nasema ni ilikuwa business but hao hawajawaka according to venye tuli agree na leo venye tuli agree hawajafanya kitu chochote alipost ngoma for 4 minutes alafu leo anakuja kwenye uh, conference yangu anaambia waseti agreement ilikuwa inasema ati apost 4 minutes ndio na delete post unaweza lipa mtu 1600 alafu apost hivyo 4 minutes so mi na hisi nimekosea lakini ndio hivyo Kumenda hivyo na sikatai yani. Lakini after all, mimi in my opinion, naona pia simple boy amekusaidia in your journey as a musician. Un, unasema aje kusu yo? Amenisaidia nini? Hakuna ha, kitu ambaja amenisaidia. Tumesaidia, tume, 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 pale tuliungana kama wasani wa Kenya kuboost our Kenyan industry. Hamna kitu chochota amenisaidia, unelewa. Manage Steve haja post nyimbo hata siku moja. Inamana mashabiki ambao umeview ni mashabiki zangu unaelewa so wake hawajaona amepost unajua shabiki wako anaweza aka support kazi yangu baada ya kuona wewe umefanya nini una support ajue ah msanii wetu ana support acha tuka support lakini ya kusupport wasani ukiona comment section nenda uhesabu comment ngapi hazifiki kama 1000 elf, unaelewa na hizo 1000 nyimbo iko na karibu 200000k unaelewa of which kwa 200 and uh, 200000 views ukitoa 200 uh, 2k comments ina maana mashabiki wa Steve Wenya ambao umeoch nyimbo ni watu 2000 so 188 ni wangu na Antoshi unaelewa 
Eh yeah, so uh, si pale mimi nilimuita kama mkenya mwenzangu kijana mbaya anajituma kijana mbaya ako na dreams zenye anataka ku achieve goals zenye ana chase but uh, ni kama labda kuna kitu kilifanyika ndio hivyo mimi nasema kawaida unajua mimi sioni kama challenge cuz mambo ya kawaida tu Alafu in Kenya are there other artists who who like uh, who want to join your music that is ama piano and you know proceed with the ama piano journey are there like artists you'd like to collab with ama kuna wenye wamekuwa wakikuitisha collab ah uh, so so far ni kuna collab nyingi uh, sasa wa Kenya kuna wale ambao wamenitisha collab kuna wale ambao wako na maalbums wako na mapiano ndani nataka niweke uh, nashukuru Mungu maana yake wameweza kuelewa muziki wa mapiano na represent Africa lakini ki ukweli collab nyingi ambazo niko nazo za nje nje nyingi sana niko na collab za Uganda wasanii wengi ambao wananihitaji sana ni wa nje Tanzania umekuwa wengi sana Uganda and then uh, South Africa sasa ndio wana kwa kibao sana unaelewa ya lakini pia kuna wa Kenya wanataka niweke ni tufanya nao kazi ama pata site ko tunafanya nao wengine kazi kazi ipo inakuja tumefanya nao wengine unaelewa ya sasa alafu do you mind telling us you know example of you know those artists when you make with collab outside Kenya unaweza tuambia tu ni kina nani ya yeah, kuna msanii kutoka Uganda anaitwa Dickenzo Dickenzo kila mtu anajua ah, kuna kazi pale ah, kuna wasanii kutoka South Africa anaitwa Maparas Jazz eh, ambao tunatakuwa tunafanya nao kazi kuna vocalist manze vocalist kila mtu anamjua atakuwa anafanya naye kazi pia so kazi ni nyingi zinakuja and uh, kuna international collab pia hiyo uh, mimi nimeifuata mwenyewe nisisema amenifuata guys ah uh, uh, sasa hii tunaongea na Chris Brown hata nilisema na nimeishi ku mention na nilisema mimi nitakuwa msanii wa kwanza kuimba naye unaelewa so alipenda vibe yangu na Antoshi alipenda vibe yangu na Reckless ile bado so tunaongea tutaweza kufanya kazi muda wote maana yake tayari ashakubali unaelewa yeah so in like no time tutakuwa tunasikia katu na kwa Tanzania ako Nigeria ako wapi ama in what like you know the period of time that we are going to wait for your music kitu vitu kama hizo ah uh, kwanza hii mwezi wa mwezi wa 7 nilifaa kwa Tanzania lakini nitakuwa na naingia August cuz August kuna birthday yangu na mimi na feel Kenya menilea mashabiki wa Kenya wamenilea kando nakuwa na mashabiki nje wananilea pia lakini Kenya wananilea. So nimeona nisije nikaondoka Kenya bila ku celebrate birthday yangu na watu. So nimeamua nitafanya birthday yangu uh, itakuwa tarehe 7 nitaiweka tarehe 7 mwezi wa 8. After tarehe 7 kuanzia pale sipo Kenya tena kwa muda mrefu. Nitakuwa Tanzania from Tanzania nitakuwa naingia South Africa. Nina collab na Muitalian by the way nilikuwa nimesahau kuambia uh, nitakuwa na travel to Italy kufanya collab naye. Uh, ni ni rap flani amazing sana alishapenda kazi so tutakuwa nafanya remix ya nyimbo yangu ambayo ni maachia audio inaitwa follow me yeah haya sasa alafu there is zuchu tumesikia story za zuchu sana huko kwa mtandao na pia we've hosted you before on our channel nataka kujua who is zuchu to you okay uh, story ya zuchu nimeshinda nikiambia wase uh, zuchu mimi kwangu ni wife naelewa na sifichi na naweka wazi kwa zata zuchu mwenye haja haikukataa hata siku moja Lakini tumeona amesema kwa Instagram tuachane na kijana wa Kenya kwani si wewe. Ah si watu wa Kenya wenye wako kwenye DM yake ni wengi. Wako wengi wasanii wengi na wajua wengine ni marafiki zangu. Alafu wanakuja kunidanganya danganya kumbwa na MDM. So mimi mimi nishaambia watu. Mimi na Zuchu tuna ndoa after election tutakuwa tunafunga tutatangaza siku yetu ya ndoa. So kile kiko pale watu walitaka ni approve na alini post walishinda kusema eti mbona zuchu akuposta akani post unaelewa wakatulia sasa hivi wakasema mbona utuonyeshi kama mnaongea nika post screenshot yetu kichat watu wakasema tu mara hiyo sio kweli nikamwambia zuchu fanyaje maana unachanganya watu unampost diamond kila mara nini sasa itakuwaje watu taamini vipi kama una ni date nikamwambia naenda ka delete picha post zote za diamond same delete watu wote wanaona akatoa kila kitu ya diamond kwenye page yake through mimi kufanya nini kumwambia unaelewa so mi Kenya na believe uh, siwezi nikachanganya biashara na mapenzi unaelewa mambo ya ndoa sio mambo ya media so mtu kama diamond aliyeka kwa media hiyo story cuz walikuwa wana push project zao mimi si need kuweka kwenye uh, media cuz mimi si push anything e, yangu na zuchu sisi ndoa yetu tunajua tusha agree tusha ongea uh, wazazi wetu wanaongea unaelewa so mambo kama kawaida tu watu wasubirie ndoa ndio hivyo tu 
Uh, guys, as you've heard, Zuchu sasa ni the wife to Cartoon 47. Na sasa as we wind up, I'd love to know what will be your advice to, you know, young people who love to, you know, venture into ama um, piano music, or rather maybe music in general. What will be your advice to them? Advice yangu kwa mtiota mbaya na groki music manze, na kwambia fanya mziki poa, do good music. Quality video, quality audio, our my fans, our need kulipo ndo support. But my fans wanna support good thing. Do good music, good video, audio, they will support you. Because uh, mimi niki come kwa game, my first song nili upload nikiwa na 25 subscribers. Nikamuka kesho yake nikiwa na around 15k viewers na 1.1k subscribers of which ilikuwa kazi poa. So guys, fanyeni uh, kazi fiti, alafu. Don't listen to haters, cause hater ni mtu ambaye ana try kuvuta attention yako and you lose your focus. Sawa. So mtu akikwambia kitu unafanya so kizuri, I say muangalia mara mbili. Au sio? Yeah, alafu cartoon, kuna story nimesikia kuhusu wewe na KRG. Hebu hebu tuelezeni nini inaendelea. <laughs> KRG the presenter. Ah, okay, sawa basi. Ah, KRG Labda tufanya interview manake. By the way, umesikia ni kikwambia kuna watu ambao wako Kenya wako kwenye DM ya Zuchu. Okay. KRG ni one of them. KRG niliwai kumpigia simu, nikambia imbe korasi ya nyimbo yake. Unajua na nchukia juwe hiyo kitu na nilikuwa na mrekodi. Napata. Nambia bro, mina kusi watu wananiambia na sikia fununu kwa mboe ni msani kwa zmini kwa nafikilanga ni presenter. Unaleo. Nambia bro, mina mboe ni imbia nyimbo yako moja, korasi peki yake. Sasa kama na niulize eti chorus ya nyimbo ipi? Ya mbio mimi misha biki tuwe suwe ndo mwenye umeimba, imba chorus moja. Unajua, ajua ata chorus zake. So kama msani ujui chorus ya nyimba yako, uwe shabiki ata ajua. So kutokayo siku, I don't know, mbona na nchukia, mbona like, yupo yupo tu lakini kiukweli mimi, simuelewi kama ni presenter, au ni msani. Mina mba siku moja kuje, Ajitokeza ambia mashabiki ye ni presenter maye ni msani Yondo the only thing neza ambia KRG Cause watu na, watu na changa nyikiwa unajua Ndo hivani Aya story ndo yu meipata Na sasa mina ataka ukienda Tanzania usalimie bibie Oh shemejenyu Shemejenyu nita msalimia lazima Aa, Ni mwambie amesalimia na dadangu na ito wanchi Umesema wanchi? Wanchi Jina noma alafu na jua wanchi Tanzania na mana yaki So guys kuja Tanzania mkisikia wanchi So yu mana ya kwenye yu Ausio e, Ni binadamu ni dada mtuto mzuri mbrembo sana huku Anaitua wanchi So nita msalimia lakini usiofu so, yeah, and thank you for joining us in our interview today. Actually, we appreciate your time. Ah, pia mina shukuru uh, kwa time yenyu, kwa kunipei opportunity kuongea na nyinyi. Mwanze mi, si tunawategemea mjue, eh, tunawategemea sana. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel, mwanze, ito Empire Group, au CEO. All the way. Yeah, and make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms at Empire Group Productions. And also follow me on my social media platforms all at Wanji Olasa.